As a property photographer and videographer in the UK, I like to keep my eyes on um, on what other photographers and videographers are doing. So in the UK industry is a little bit different. Um, the real estate, the property industry is a little bit different in the UK than it is in other countries and how properties are sold, how properties are uh, presented and displayed. We, I've got some family that live in America and uh, they were selling their lovely house in Texas and they had to take everything out uh, only for it then to be refilled with completely new stuff for them to then take photos and do viewings. And I was like, wait, but they had a lovely house with like pianos and statues and all that stuff. I was like, no, no, we need to take it out. We need to dress it exactly how we like it. And suddenly that's that's the way that they do it in America. So if, you, if you've got your own family photos, if you've got your own uh, TV in a certain place and all that, they will take everything out, bring in a massive trailer uh, filled with stuff and redress your house for you uh, before sale, which is all part of the, the price that they, they do. But I, I was like, what? That sounds insane compared to what we do over here. Most owners over here buy a house and then put in a sofa and go, Sell it for me for an extra hundred thousand pounds, please. <laughs> You're like, okay, do you want to drip? Do you want to put some flowers? In? Like, uh, my my email that I send out to a lot of um, landlords and stuff like that is like, here's my email. Okay, maybe a vase of flowers, maybe a bowl of fruit, maybe dress the the uh, dining table if you want to do that. Um, uh, maybe set the fire. Uh, that's always a good one if you've got one in there. But uh, not not. Take out everything. We're going to send in a truck with a whole bunch of men to re dress your whole property uh, so I'm always quite surprised at that so that's when I see the, the, the American versions it's just it's just like wow they they do they do a good effort and their property videos granted for their much more expensive properties is stunning so I'm looking at this one uh, Utah aerial imaging um, and uh, but what I am noticing and what I'm actually noticing myself is my how I'd want to change my video shooting uh as it were um th this this is amazing this kind of property look at the mountains in the background look at the sunset look at the pool bit of a funny angle going on there interesting angle uh look at the drone shots flying backwards over possibly just in reverse this this uh, video this is quite an interesting video and um, because there's something odd goes on Granted, it's completely clean. Again, a lot of properties that we shoot in the UK, it's not clean like this. This has been staged and ready. Nobody lives here. Um, but in this, um, in this, what was it, promo video that they've got, something very strange goes on. Let's see if you can see it. So, yeah, it's all looking good. Like, all those books and stuff I've been told are fake. Oh, there's the cameraman in the garage. Saw him there. Nice one. Um, great shots. Lovely. Slightly changing their, their look there. A wee bit dark, and a wee bit dark there. Uh, what's that? That's their second apartment. Okay, now here, here's where it gets really... This is where, for me, this video, this promo video, gets a bit weird. Watch. Tell me if you see what I see. Are you seeing it? I'm seeing it. Are you seeing it? Something a bit weird. Really weird now. Are you seeing it? Am I the only one seeing it? Keep looking. If you can't see why, see. You're missing something. There's something very strange. And then it goes back to like more house shots and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that goes on and on. But there was something a bit strange about this one. I'll tell you what it is. Where is everybody? Like, it's like a ghost town. Like, again, in the UK, when we'd be shooting that, there would be cars all over the place, it'd be people walking their dog and people mowing their lawn. This is really weird. Like there's and then here's like a whole shopping estate. There's a bicycle. There's nobody there though. Like nobody. Like a ghost town. <laughs> Straight away I was like, this looks like a lovely place. Where is everyone? And they've put in a car, but nobody's sitting at the tables. Nobody walking, nobody outside. It's really weird. It's like completely... And then here, here's a lovely park. Not a single child. Only one car in the car park. That's probably the guy that's flying the drone. Nobody walking a dog or playing. That's really odd. 
Like, look at it, not a single person in this whole place. And again, more shots. Nobody. Bit odd. Bit odd there. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's uh, by the by, that's not what I'm trying to get at here. So, there's a couple of different styles of property videos that go on here. One is, uh, you're just showing moving shots of the photos, effectively, um, which is fine. Then there's another one which is the walkthrough, and uh, there's a company that does it really well, uh, which I've seen, let's see. So again, I was looking in Edinburgh, looking for like a minimum £900,000, maximum price any. Uh, looking for properties here that might have a video. Let's check this one. Video. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, and straight away, notice, notice the difference in the UK version. Roadworks. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yeah. Crap cars and roadworks and bins right outside the front of your house. This one is very well staged, actually. That looks really nice. So this, let's see. Yeah, so this is kind of showing how it would be if you were walking through uh, the property. We've got quite very good st uh, steady cam going on there. Nice, nice smooth shots. Good exposure as well, getting the outside. There's a very high dynamic range going on uh, with this camera uh, that they're doing here. Looking great, nice shots. Big fan of that, good, good movement. Dynamic movement going on there. There's a lot of sharpening added to this actually, very sharp. So yeah, a bit more of a walkthrough going on there. One thing though that I've noticed, uh, there was another property, let's see this one, Shiro House. I was like, this looks like a funky, different style, cool house in, in Edinburgh, in the UK. That looks quite cool, different. And I watched the video, and I think it's by that same company that did it before, and in no way uh, being derogatory to their video, like their video is great, like look at that. Whoosh! I'm sure with the music, oh, it looks sunny day, lovely shots inside, get the feeling of walking through, looking cool as you walk in, you're like, ooh, nice, and then you're like, what's going on here? Cool wooden things. And then, yeah, nice, spinning round, loving it. Very well designed uh, house and presented, very good. And then whoosh, through here, bird poo in the window, you want to clean that off. I think they're doing like a, maybe like an auto um, exposure setting going on here. So yeah, I watched this, I thought this was great, but something occurred to me afterwards. And that was, after I'd watched this video, the first thing I wanted to do was go back and look at the photos. And I'm wondering why that is. Like what's, like this is a great video, it gives you the full walkthrough of the house, you get the full layout, you see how it's all presented, uh, and it's, it's done very well, but the very next thing I did is like, cool, go to the photos, let's look at the photos now. And I was like, photos. Fo so the photos for me, I say, are just as important as the video. Uh, I think if you're going to be a property photographer, videographer, offering one without the other, um, is not a good idea. I think all agents want, if you can do photos, do video. Or if you can do video, they want you to do the photos um, as well. But uh, yeah, there's something about it. Again, I was, this is something I was watching on my iPad, so maybe different viewing mediums have different effects on your viewing pleasure. But after watching the video, which is great, all I wanted to do was look at the photos. And there's something about the passiveness of a moving video where you can literally turn off your brain. And again, bizarrely with this, the next thing I did after that, I was like, cool, let's look at the floor plan. There should be no physical reason for me to need to look at the floor plan after seeing that fantastic walkthrough. But again, I was just like, no, oh yeah, so that's the kitchen there. I know the kitchen's there from the living room. I just saw a video of it. But there was something, was like, but then I looked at this and I was like, was the door there? I didn't think there was a door there. I saw those bits. I didn't see the Did they have to go? And I'd have to go back to the video and they go, where? Where was the door? And then I'm like, oh yeah, they did go through the door. There was something about watching this video that became so passive that I didn't really notice. So again, that's not the point of property videos. Property videos are not to sell the property. Pro same with pro property photos a lot of the time. 
what sells the property is the price and the floor plan and its location. Uh, the photos and the video are to make it look good, to make people have a connection with a property whenever they see it online, to go, oh, that's that's the kind of place I want to live in, or uh, that's, the, that's the kind of lifestyle I want to have. Um, and uh, uh, that, that's, that's more what you're presenting. And it's also to make the agent look good. This is, this is what a lot of people don't realise, is that property photos and videos are not about making the property look good. It's actually about making the agent look good, or the seller look good. Because um, if you're a seller with crap photos, People can still look past those crap photos and go, I want to buy that house. Look at its location, look at its price, look at its floor plan. Fantastic, I want that. But if an agent is putting up crap photos, that agent looks crap compared to all the other agents. So again, if you, if you are an aspiring property photographer in any sort of way, present, propose, propose, um, push your photography as a way of presenting the agent to look better, not the property. Well, that you will inevitably make the property look better, but it's all about making the agent uh, look better. Like they're putting the effort in to get the properties looking good and looking sold well. Um, so yeah, uh, oh, I went a wee bit offline there. Um, so yeah, so with this, I was like, I'm so passive in this that I've actually forgotten the layout of the property. And that made me come to the, my overriding point about this is that I think walkthrough videos don't necessarily do as good a job as emotional videos. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm getting a bit airy fairy here. Okay, how, how can I explain this? I think a lot of time, with to get the best reaction, to get the best motivation from an interested buyer, is not about showing them the layout. It's not necessarily about walking from one room to the next. Well, and we're talking about the high-end properties here, not the, you know, your £200,000, people just want to see how it's laid out. But when you're talking about high-end, highly designed, desirable location properties uh, that present a certain lifestyle, so that, that that's the big caveat here. What you really, what I think works better is just videos which emphasise the lifestyle Emphasize the location, emphasize the feeling of a house. So this walkthrough is great, but what it does, it's a walkthrough. Um, granted, it's a very plain, uh, how can I say, it's not plain, it's a minimalist uh, style house, you know, like one set of drawers going on there, a couple of lights. Uh, it's not a cluttered, it's not, it's not a homely feeling house, but maybe that's the style that you want to go for. You want to, if somebody's clearly had a shower, <laughs> look at how wet it is there. But yeah, external shots, look at the, the walkway, oh, dead plants again, shooting in winter, tough time. Um, uh, blue sky, you got the blue sky though, and into the garden. So I think here, this is where, uh, that video that I was watching before, this, like straight in, what are you showing? So this is much more showing the emotion, the feeling, the lifestyle. The lifestyle is, look at this amazing house you've got. The very next shot, it's not showing you the kitchen, it's not showing you the living room, it's showing you a hammock. I was like, that's brilliant. That is showing you this idea of this house is here for relaxation. I like that. And what was the next shot after that? Let's see, fireplace. So again, it's the idea of outdoor luxury, warmth, in the sunshine, Straight away. So, and then it goes into some internal shots. Cool, so you get an idea of these nice big windows. Again, a little bit blurry. Get that TV off. That TV is terrible. Or if you're going to have a TV on, have something like a... Like, luxuryyachtchannel.com or so. I don't know, something, something not just showing a crap house up there. But yeah, straight in. Shots of the fireplace. Again, it's different houses, different styles um, of properties. Um, but, and yeah, look at that. Do you know, that is probably dressed like that. Somebody's gone in and put all that stuff in there. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. Cinema room. Funky. They're going at pretty, pretty mental angles. They're like, whoa, camera's jib is a little bit off center here. But you're not noticing that because you're noticing the kind of the coolness going on there. And again, this isn't a panning shot showing the size or the shape of the room. This is more the... Going from the pool table over to the relaxing fireplace shot, um, which yeah, I think I think I think that's great. So yeah, for the more expensive, 
higher end properties which have a have a design feature in other words they're designed to be a place of work or they're designed to be a place of relaxation or they're designed to be a place of family or they're designed to be a place of coziness or they're designed to be a place of outdoorsiness you know there's lots of different design aspects of uh, property that that is it's just a huge house uh, let's see flying over look at that look at the swimming pool everything and so again with this one it's all about the hills the views its location uh, going on there again this doesn't really translate over to UK property uh, quite easily, but straight away it was like, look at the open, like, bar, what would you call that? Like an outdoor kitchen kind of thing? I don't know. Um, but it was like straight in, views, massive kitchen, horses, uh, not horses, what do you call them? Deers. Um, it's an outdoor hunting kind of place. They're massive. And then gym, it's all about the kind of fitness Exter like being outdoors kind of stuff and yeah if we compare that to for example this property I found just seems to be for sale all the time I shot I actually shot this property I shot this property years ago see the first thing you go to is floor plan I want to see the floor plan um I shot this property ages and ages ago let's see if I can find it wow Back in 2010, so nine years ago, I shot this property. Has it still got the same furniture? Hold on. Okay, that is the living room. We've got the balls there, uh, the cool funky curly table there. Let's see what it looks like just now. Balls there. Oh, bad, bad exposure. Balls there, cool funky curly table, sofa. Let's see their, their kitchen. Uh, how... That'd be amazing. See if they still have that picture. That will be nuts. That will be nuts. There's a oh, they do! Nine, ten years later, this property still looks exactly the same. That is amazing. Uh, what was their other living room? So again, this is this is my shot from like ten years ago. Funky angle going on there. Um Buddha head on the wall, uh, square table. Let's see what we've got here. Have they got square table? Yeah, properly hasn't changed a bit. Ten years different. Anyway, so this property has got a property video. Let's have a look at this one. And so, again, this is a million pound property. You want to go on a sunny day. <laughs> you want to. You want to have them put that effort in to get sunny shots, especially when with the photos you can edit the photos. So that you've got blue sky, sun coming down. Is that my photo? Hold on. Oh, it's very close. So clearly they've, they've got... No, I am sure that is my photo. No, can't seem to find it. Um, anyway, lovely, lovely photo. Um, and uh, it seems like the property... Either these are nine-year-old photos or um, they, uh, they just haven't updated the property at all. Oh, did the photographer get in the... No, he did well to Photoshop himself out of that one. Anyway, so this property, huge, million pounds, we're talking about offers over uh, a million pounds. And for this place, it's all about the location, it's got a granny house, it's uh, balconies, it's views, again shot in wintertime, it's got the cinema room upstairs. Uh, the video, let's see the video. Again, they went on a Cloudy, misty day, uh, overcast day. For a house like this, for this kind of budget, get get there on a sunny day, on a dry sunny day. Even if it takes a week later to do it, uh, because the property is effectively immaculate uh, when you're there. Um, going into shots, it's taken a while. Second shot going in. This third shot of the entrance. This is kind of like a walkthrough uh, video as well here. It's just showing the rooms, showing the location, which is fine, again, for the for the average house, but I think there is definitely the, the potential. But again, it doesn't really have anything to really... Again, I, I'm possibly over-egging the potential of developing cinematic and... Uh, 
you know, beautiful shots of a property that develop its mood and atmosphere and its location. You know, these ones with their hammocks and stuff like that. I'm probably going way too the hardcore in this. But I think maybe with this one, it would have been a shot of this stairwell. As you go in, it's the grand stairwell with its lighting going on here. But I suppose it's kind of just, you know, average wooden banisters and plain bedrooms with nothing on the walls. Uh, but yeah, okay, here, the idea of luxury with your bog roll at the wrong angle. But there are TVs in the bathroom kind of stuff. I'd probably go for the cinema room pretty quickly as well. I like, believe that. This is a place where you just sit back, relax with friends and kids. Um, maybe get some more garden shots. Again, totally blown out here. But I think there's an idea. Definitely, I think the way I'd go from here on, if I am shooting high-end properties like that, that have a design element, that have a, a mood, a theme uh, going through them, I think the first part of the video is presenting that design element, presenting that uh, the way you should feel about that property before you go in, or as you go in, rather than here's the bedroom, here's the living room, here's the kitchen, here's the garage. I think if it's a place of outdoorsiness, it's like outdoors, garden shot, kids bit, pond, location. You know, so maybe half the video isn't even inside the property, if the property's all about the outdoorsiness. If it's a like a cosy, homely house, then yeah, you want to go straight in and get shots of the fireplace, get shots of the, the cosy sofas and the, the comfy beds, and then the second half of the video, panning shot of the bedroom, panning shot of the kitchen. Again, this being diff slightly different for the UK market and audience here. Um, again, only for the higher end properties that have a theme. So yeah, that's that's just my... My internal thoughts just now of um, property videos and how we can update them and uh, especially with the higher end, only with the higher end I'm really talking about here, the lower end property. Like here, look at that skylight and stuff going on there. This this property isn't about a walkthrough. Uh, people will be viewing this property and walking through it themselves. Um, it's about very Edinburgh niche, uh, I think, going on here. See, look, that, that, I would start off with that. That's a brilliant shot! Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but when you're talking about the million pound properties, yeah, you've got your, your shots in, but from here I'd go stairwell, because that is the major feature, and then show off the, or like close-ups, like look at the kind of chandeliers and fireplaces and the history uh, of this property, then straight into like a bedroom, which is, yeah, it's fine. But it's, this property has a design element, it has a mood, it has a feeling to it. That's that's a big element going on there. You want to show that it's got height and everything. Pianos, nice. So yeah, I think from here on in, property videos that I do of the high end million pound plus properties, the first half of the video is really expressing the mood, the atmosphere, the, the architectural design elements of a property. There you go, that's my thoughts. Cheers, bye bye.